right, well, I guess it's become a vlog at this point. So we're talking daily or at least every other day now. Um, so the update is, is the meat birds, because they stunk so much, they've been outside in the chicken coop. Um, and it has been four nights now. So the reason we put them out again was because they were too stinky inside. They made it to 35 days, so over a month, and we're guessing about 40 days for them um, on their age. So about 30 to 40 days, too stinky, inside, too much, gross. So inside the brooder that they were in, it was a 150 gallon brooder, and I was using about a third of a pack <clears throat> of pine shavings so now I'm using about a pack well I put one pack in three days ago four days ago now so I have not changed it but this morning woke up and when I checked on them that giant wet spot there I guess I have water hanging the water uh, waterer and I guess they must have knocked it over and made a giant mess in there so anything hanging out and just being being sitting and sopping up moisture is just that's what also causes stinkiness and there is quite a bit of droppings in there so this coop is not going to be for shavings in the future it's actually going to be for sand or a different kind of medium for the egg layers but right now for the meat birds I'm just using the shavings they're used to it it's easy to change it over and let's see how it works out all right so my plan the original plan was to use this four by four that I put across here um, as a barrier. So, so far it's actually been working pretty good. They've only been able to kick up just a little bit of, of stuff over the edge, but there's no poop or grossness on the outside edge here, which is nice. Um, the wheelbarrow pulls right up to the edge. I know it kind of looks like it's not at the edge, but this hardware cloth goes straight down here and then it just falls right in. So I'm going to empty it out, see how it works. Um, the other thing is, is we put linoleum on there too. So the linoleum hopefully should, should make cleaning it up pretty easy. Smell wise, there's actually not that much smell. So even in the morning when I open it up, it's not super stinky. So there is enough ventilation, even with the doors shut for the fumes or I guess the odors to get away. So it's actually way better than being inside. So we're gonna work on a situation for next time because inside the house, I'm not sure if I can get past day 30 again. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna put on the mask. Hopefully you can hear me for a little bit, but I'm gonna clean out this part. And uh, let's see how it turns out. See if I run into any complications in our plan. All right, so, so far, ran into a little issue with the bar, but that's because I have the egg boxes locked off. I ended up, I ended up screwing in the egg box kind of covers to stop any birds going in there and making any mess in there. But what that did was, is it kind of locked my two by four barrier in. So I've just lifted it up and I'm gonna scoot everything out from underneath it. But I'm really excited because the linoleum thing is working. So I'm not sure where I saw that, but whoever came up with the linoleum or a different bottom than the than the regular OSB. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, well, Check it out. I think it worked out real good. That's our first clean out. Um, of course, if I felt uh, like really getting OCD, I could go in there and Joy would do it, definitely. She would definitely do it, but she would probably go in and, and use a broom and then super sweep everything out. But there's no poop actually left in there. There's nothing wet in there, which is really good. So there's just a few extra little chips in there. Uh, I'm gonna fill up the next next set so that it's ready for tonight and uh, here we go. So the meat birds are growing exceptionally well. I don't know if you can see them underneath there, but they are nice and fat and big and I'll show you them in a second. Hey Julia, yeah. can you bring me a meat bird? 
Let's get them to bring me a meat bird. Bring me uh, the biggest meat bird that you can get. I don't know, reach under there and grab it with your uh, super, your superhero uh, powers. <clears throat> All right, so let's put this two by four blockade back down. And then I think I used about three quarters of one of these bags. So I don't need the mask anymore right now. But, uh, so yeah, I used, like I said, I was using about a third of a bag in the brooder, and I, I'm used about three quarters of a bag over about four days. So I was using, like I said, three quarters, every, I mean, I'm sorry, a third of a bag every day, and now I'm at, you know, less than a bag every four days, so I'm actually using less by keeping it out here. I do like how high we decided to make this coop instead of having it down on the ground. Um, so the working the working height is great. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my shoulder is not so hot. So it is nice being able to move things at a, at a decent ergonomic height. That's, that's half of a bag. So let's move this out of the way. We'll send this to the We'll send this to the compost pile. Oh, you're gonna send her through the uh, through the drive-through window, yeah. so you can get drive-through chicken. And uh, yeah, let's check out one of these. Hi. Let's check out let's check out one of these girls how they're doing right now. So as you can see, they are definitely getting bigger every day. And I don't know about you, they are gonna be tasty, but they are super cute. I have developed a little bit of a, a love for these chickens. Um, I really enjoy this so far. They're fun, they're, they're interesting. They've got their own little characters and I know you're gonna eat them in the end, but it's at least nice to take care of them and, and make them have a good time until, until that day comes. So looking good, getting big, just a fun process here. Okay, so another thing that uh, I just wanted to say is I really enjoy the meat bird's personality. I like that they are really, really calm, really chill. They don't like peck and go crazy on each other. They're not like the egg layers where they're much more agile, speedy. Um, I don't know if it's aggressive or just, you know, they're pecking order in nature. All I know is the meat birds, they don't, they don't fly around, they don't run away. <laughs> they're like super easy to handle. So I think if a meat bird could lay eggs, I think I might like them better. I'm not sure, but just throwing that in there. So that's good. That's a, that's a pretty solid about three inches of coating in there. And as you can see, she's, she's clucking up a storm there. Anytime you separate them, they, they start talking, but, uh, yeah. So I'm at, so I'm at half, half a bag. So I'm actually doing better right now than I was when we were using the brooder. So having them outside with ventilation, just like every single farmer out there already knows, for city slickers and urban people, <laughs> breeding these things inside or raising them inside is definitely stinky. Um, all my farming friends were like, I can't believe you're doing that. Um, it's not that bad until about day 30, if you can you know, change them out and, and, and do what we were finding out and you can look back in those videos. But um, once you get past a certain size, you know, once they get up to that like five pound mark, they, they, they poop too much. Um, so anyway, the coop's working good ergonomically. It's uh, not too bad. The chickens are fun. Comment, subscribe, let us know, you know, what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Anyway, take care.